Hey everyone. So I've been a little bit under the weather the last few days and haven't really felt like putting makeup on. So doing videos where you can see my face is not really something I want right now. But I thought I would go ahead and do just a relaxing, calming puzzle with you today. I got this really, really adorable puzzle and the artist is Kim Norlian and it's called Springtime Beauty and I really think this is an adorable picture and I thought I would just try to put this together if I can't in one session hopefully I can in two sessions just do something calming and relaxing because I've been in the mood to do a puzzle lately and this one is calling to me it's chirping at me so to speak so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this and while I'm at it I went online and found a quiz well, I'm calling it a quiz, but really I was wanting to find some sort of um, questionnaire so that while I'm sitting here, I'm kind of uh, letting you in on a little bit more of me. You get to know me a little bit better, and the conversation can be more interesting, so that is the plan. But this last three weeks has been pretty rough uh, since Christmas. I woke up the day after Christmas with my knee barking at me so bad I was literally uh, literally almost uh, incapacitated for two weeks unable to really walk or anything and then as soon as I started feeling better from that I got this little bug shared so lovingly by a family member so um, yeah trying to get over all these fun little challenges and uh, this just seems like something that would be fun to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself started. I always prop up the picture where I can see it. So the first question in this questionnaire is one I've kind of already touched on in the past, so I'm not going to belabor it too much. I'll just pass over it pretty quickly. Um, and it's what shows are you into? Uh, TV or anything like that and I've already you know I've already told you a lot of the times how many uh, programs I like and what kinds of things I enjoy watching but uh, for ease of conversation I'll go ahead and share it again I suppose I like watching history programs I like real life type things, um, solving mysteries, I like a lot of British programs, I like cooking programs, British, uh, Great British Baking Show is really fun, in fact I got a season of that for Christmas. I have not gotten into it yet because I have been so distracted with some other things since Christmas but I'm going to be getting into that um, I like all the BBC programs I like the OPB the Victoria the um, Jane Austen I like a lot of those type of things and um, I don't know I'm a pretty versatile person but I don't like gore I don't like cussing I don't like uh, bedroom scene things a lot a lot with bedroom scenes um, I like a lot of the Doctor Who from certain seasons because it was a little cleaner show even though it had some interesting content it didn't uh, have a lot of language in it things like that so I enjoyed that show in fact I think I have like six or seven seasons of it all in that one little area that I enjoy of the show and um, I think there's only one season from Matt Smith I don't have and I asked for it for Christmas but apparently it wasn't on a good deal or something because I didn't get it but um, yes I do like a lot of things like that there aren't many sci-fi shows I like though so that's kind of that's kind of the anomaly um, although I did like Warehouse 13. That one was an uncommon fun show, if you've ever heard of that one. Remington Steel, Scarecrow Mrs. King, um, a show called Time Tracks. 
from years and years ago. I wasn't really into the Charlie's Angels or things like that. Um, although, I mean, I'll watch a little bit, but that was never an up there program for me. It was just okay. As I drop my picture. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm a pretty versatile television program watcher. And, um, but I definitely do go for more, for more clean programs in general. Just because that's just a preference of mine. Question number two is, what's your claim to fame? Um, I don't, I don't really know that I can call it a claim to fame. I would say my YouTube channel is, is about as high up there as I have for you. Um, although when I was 17, I won a singing contest online on the radio and I got to sing backup for a popular at the time Christian singing group. They have since, um, parted ways. They're not together anymore. And you probably would not know who they are if I mentioned them, but at the time they were a pretty big deal. Um, their name was Plus One, in fact. They were a boy band from, from the era. And I was pretty, pretty hyped about that. And that was pretty special, and I told pretty much everyone about it at the time. But, you know, after, after the band disbands, it kind of loses its speciality, so to speak. And so that, that was kind of my claim to fame. Because of that, I was in contact with quite a few um, musicians from, you know, from that time frame. I was emailing a number of different um, artists back and forth. They may have known me a little bit. It was probably more hype on my end than them really knowing me a great amount. But it was it was still pretty good for my ego at the time. <laughs> I uh, felt pretty pretty special about that, but like I said, it, no one would even really know who that group is anymore, um, and it's okay. That was that was a little passing moment I had as a, as a teenager. Oh yes, and I have been on television a number of times, but it wasn't for an interview or anything like that. It was several times I was in the audience of. Um, well, I was in the audience, and I was happened to, to be spotted in the audience of, of events. And it was fun watching, watching for um, sightseeing moments of myself. But again, no one else would probably have any idea <laughs> that it was me. So, claim to fame, probably not. More of just a, a fun little coincidence for my, for my own self and my own knowledge. The third question in this... Uh, questionnaire is how often do you play sports? Well, I'm not really a sports person. When I was young, I was very active and did a lot of things. I was a runner. I love doing gymnastics. Um, but anymore these days, I'm very much a a home person. I'm very much a sit down and do a, a sit down project. Um, health challenges have not really helped with that, but I'm not really a sporty type person at this point in my life. Although I think, I think a lot of the gymnast sports is more up my, my, my alley, a little more my speed. Uh, I'm not really into football or baseball or basketball or any of those type things. It's just never something that's grabbed me. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I, I don't come from a very sporty family in general, um, and my mom has, has been pretty happy about that over the years. She said, oh my goodness, at least we don't have to spend days during certain seasons of the year cooking and baking and doing all this stuff for sports days, and <laughs> I'm like, well, I wouldn't mind, I guess, so much, but it's just never really been something I've had to deal with. The fourth question is, are you usually early or late? Well, I would love to say I am usually early, but as you can tell by the distance uh, in time between my videos, I am oftentimes more late 
because I, I can't always foresee, you know, what's going to happen and, and what's going to hold me up from doing this or that. So I try to be on time, um, not necessarily early, not necessarily late, but more often late than early, if that makes sense. Number five, what quirks do you have? Um, goodness, I don't know. What quirks do I have? I am... Hmm. It's an interesting question. What quirks do I have? Do I have quirks? Um... No, I don't have any quirks. Um, goodness. I think I do have some fun quirks, and I think some of them my brother has mentioned in a previous video that I tend to <clears throat> get excitable around good tasting food. Um, and sometimes I do like a little happy dance when I get good food. Uh, because it's, <laughs> it's not always that I enjoy my food. And so when I find something that's really yummy, my, my body just kind of involuntarily does this little jig. Um, and it's okay. I'm not embarrassed about it. I kind of, I kind of think it's a funny quirk. Um, <clears throat> it elicits laughter most of the time, I'll say. Um, quirks. I, boy, I'm a little bit, um, no pun intended, puzzled <clears throat> by how to answer this question, because I guess we don't really think about our own quirks in the same way. I'll go ahead and skip to the next question, uh, which is, how often do you people watch? That, it depends on what you're talking about, um. I watch people on the television all the time. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm I, not often a people watcher because I'm probably more concerned about what people are thinking about me than vice versa. Um, if I'm sitting in a car waiting for people, I'll, I'll do some watching of people because it's just kind of a normal thing. Uh, but in general... In general, not terribly much, although I will say I'm very aware of my surroundings. I like to be aware of my surroundings. Um, I don't like being surprised by someone suddenly being right, right by me. I like to know what's going on. And I think that's okay. That's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I notice people more by the way I feel about them than the way I see them. Um, I'm very aware of, of, of pr the presence of people, and so that's, that's a little different. Number seven, what's your favorite drink? Well, um, right now I love, I love coffee. That's, that's, I don't think that should be any surprise. I do love coffee, um, and... <clears throat> I love a good a good soda. I'm not a, an alcoholic drinker. That might be more what what people are meaning, but I, I'm I don't drink alcohol. Um, and I I try to watch how much I have in the way of sodas and things. I don't want to overdo it. I know that my family has had a tendency to. Um, several people in my family have had, um, some sensitivities to sugar, and I don't want to have a problem with that, so I tend to be more watchful of how much sugar I inhale, <laughs> so to speak. Um, I want to make sure I'm not, um, feeding something that could harm me later on. So I try to not, if I'm going to drink a sugary drink, I try to not drink more than maybe two times a week, something like that. 
because I'm just I'm just more conscientious of of um, of the health of my person, and I wanted to make sure I do whatever I can to to remain healthy. Hot chocolate. Oh, I love hot chocolate. Actually, <laughs> love hot chocolate. Uh, a tease, of course. Oh, orange juice. Orange juice is a bit of a weakness for me. I love my orange juice. Um, but again, it's another one of those ones I have to be really conscientious of because I could literally down like a whole, a whole gallon of orange juice in a day. It's, it's something I crave so much and so often, um, that I really have to be careful of that. And, um, my mom has a very similar craving to orange juice. I don't really understand it, but it is very strong. Next question what do I hope never changes? Um, wow. Um, goodness, that's, that's kind of a loaded question. Um, I can't really think while trying to think about one. <laughs> I can't really put together this puzzle and try to think about one deeply. Um, what do I hope never changes? I hope um, my relationship with my brothers remains strong. Um, as we begin, you know, as we go our separate ways and and um, things, of course, will change. But I hope we always stay close and, and stay um, loving and, and we don't, you know, fall away from from each other. Um, I've experienced that before in my life and that can be really painful. So I hope that r remains the closeness between me and my siblings. I hope my, uh, well, most of my hopes, I guess, for never changing are family related because I, I want my family to stay strong and, um, and be whole. Uh, there are other things I know won't change and am determined won't change, like my relationship with God. That is not going to change in, in any way um, diminishing. It may change in, in a level of growth, I suppose, but it won't go away because I'm already, I'm determined. <laughs> I'm already ter determined and set in my ways regarding that. Um, but yeah, there are, there are certain things, um, that I hope will change and things I hope won't change, um, all for the better, of course. Next question is, what is my dream car? I do not know. Um, to be honest with you, I've never really done a lot of research in cars, uh, because, uh, I just really haven't. When you're at a, a stage in your life when you, you know that um, owning a car is not really working for you, you kind of lose some of that um, ambition to find these things out and, and, and really dwell on the thought. But when I was younger, my dream car was a lime green Volkswagen bug. I wanted one of those really, really bad. And, um, I, I never really got any positive remarks on that one. Everyone always kind of went, oh, mm, no. So I kind of felt like, um, all right, well then, I guess, I, I guess not. Um, so nothing ever came with that one. I think I'm missing some end pieces here edge pieces. Um, Volkswagen Bug. I really, at this point, I'm not, I'm not knowing for sure what I want, but I do know I want a pretty color. Um, all of my life, or most of my life, my family members have usually gone with, um, paler colored cars that are, like at one point looking out on the driveway, there were three cars that were basically the identical color that were like this silvery white and I looked out 
one day and I said, you know what? No, I don't want to just have mine look exactly like everyone else's. I want to have something pretty, a color, a unique one. And so every once in a while I'll look if I'm driving or, you know, in a parking lot and I see a car that's a really cool color, I'll just snap a picture of it just for reference sake. Um, I've seen really gorgeous teal colored cars that were like, what on earth is that? And then, um, I love a red car. I know they say, don't drive a red car. You're watched the more when you're driving a red car. And my opinion says, if you're watched more, it doesn't matter if you're following the rules of the road, right? So I guess I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just, I'll just be a good driver continue being a good driver and and drive the color car I want. Number 10 is an odd question because um, I've never lived anywhere else. So the question is where would you rather be from? Um, goodness, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I guess I wouldn't mind saying I'm from like Hawaii or something, having family members <laughs> live somewhere exotic so that I have a good, good excuse to go visit there from time to time. Um, but I, I don't know. I've never lived anywhere but where I live now. And I've never really... So I had a little problem with my camera, so I'm starting over here. Not starting over, but definitely regrouping. So the next question is, where would you rather be from? And I honestly do not know how to answer that question, because I have never lived anywhere else than where I do now. Um, I suppose I could say something like, um, I wish I were from someplace exotic so that I would have more of an excuse to travel back there and, um, visit again and often. But I honestly, I've never been anywhere too interesting, um, living there. I mean, I've, I've traveled quite a bit, but I've never lived anywhere else. And so, um... I don't know, maybe somewhere like Hawaii or something, <laughs> like I said, so that I could, I could have a good excuse to travel back again, because um, I'd love to go there. I think that would be a really lovely place to visit. Um, wouldn't necessarily want to live there full time, so hence the whole be from scenario. Um, but yeah, that, that could be interesting, don't you think? I don't know, unless maybe you live there and you know better. <laughs> and then you'd know, no, 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 you, you don't want to live there. Um, which is very possible, I suppose. The 11th question is, what songs have you completely memorized? Ooh, oh sheesh, which ones? You mean the entire list? Uh, too many. Um, I have memorized way too many to, to list here. That would take me all day long. Um, yes, I've memorized a lot of them. So, I think this is down on the bottom. Yes, I've remembered, I've memorized, um, a very, very good deal of songs. So I'm not, I'm not even going to try on this one. A lot of the Karen Carpenter songs, a lot of the Bee Gees songs, a lot of Christian songs, um, a lot of old classic songs. Um, I'm not so much into the modern day music though. I know some of them, but I'm, I'm really not a, a huge fan of the more modern songs. I think they're they're a little, they're a little, I don't know how to say it. They don't have the, the same kind of quality, but that's a totally a preference type thing. I, I am totally lost on this thing. All right. Number 
12. What would you rate 10 out of 10? <gasps> this is really probably not the best time to be doing polls, I think. Because, wow, I haven't the foggiest how to answer that. Um, <laughs> I could give you some food items. Food items um, that I would rate really, really high. Uh, wee yogurt. I love some wee yogurt. Um, I think that's pretty, they're pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Um, that's just, that's a really difficult one. I would rate Mirabilia Patterns 10 out of 10, cross-stitch-wise. Um, have any of you ever seen a slower puzzle progress than this? This is pathetic. I'm feeling very, very self-conscious of this, uh, of this very slow progress here. Um... Wow, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. That would take some extensive thinking. And I don't think you want to wait that long. I am so... I, I feel like I am so bad at this, but I know I can do puzzles well. I am floundering on this one. Big time. Floundering. Big time. If you see any matches, just chime in. <laughs> I'm so teasing. Um, what job would you be terrible at? Oh, goodness gracious. What job would I be terrible at? Uh, fixing a car? Of course, I've never tried it. I could be really, really good at it. I'm good with puzzles. I'm good with fixing things and figuring things out um, through trial and error. So, I don't know. Maybe I'd be really good at fixing cars. I would probably be a horrible sumo wrestler. Um, weightlifter. Although, I... Technically, I'd probably be a really good weightlifter because I've always been very strong. Um, and I could, one of my things in school was I could pick up all of the, the kids in my class, not, not all of them at once, of course, but I was like the strongest one in the class and I could, you know, lift up any of the, any of the boys, any of the bigger kids, I could pick them all up, um, heft them around if I so chose to do so, um, uh, didn't really like doing it, but everyone knew I was really strong in school and I ended up I, 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 I even my even my grandpa who who doesn't doesn't uh, offer praise very often would say how strong I was and be kind of amazed by it so I've always been strong but lately I probably would not fare well doing some of that stuff because of um, some back issues I've had, but I don't know. I think I think that could be something I would be good at, but I'm I just wouldn't do it at this point. I mean, okay, what job would I be terrible at? Pick pick a video of Mike Jobs, uh, Mike Rowe um, videos, and and just any one of those. Just just bad. Bad, 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 all around. Number thir no, number fourteen. What are you absolutely determined to do? Eventually finish this puzzle one. Which I'm telling you, I'm doing so bad at this right now. I feel so horrible. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. Um, what am I determined to do? I'm determined to get fit and well. I am determined to. Um, follow my dreams 
and not not be um, not be controlled by what symptoms would say health wise um, I'm determined to be happy I'm going to be happy and um, I'm determined to to pursue God and find out what his ideal plan for my life is and um, and do it well so there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of things I'm determined to do and they'll just they'll happen one step at a time and um, as I push push forward it's 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 just going to have to happen. Um, I'm determined to get a car within a short amount of time and be driving again. Um, I'm determined to get some new glasses. I've been needing new glasses forever, but I have uh, had to hold off on that for financial reasons. I'm determined to get some new glasses. Um, and... There's, there's a lot, there's a, a whole lot I'm determined about, um, and I'm going to have to pull this out because I think it might be hiding some more pieces underneath. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I need to be focusing on the center of the picture and then be doing the outside. I always thought the outside would help me, but I'm kind of questioning that theory right now. I'm also determined to get my mirabilia beaded and framed um, because I've stitched so many pictures and I'm determined on that and now I'm bumping my camera. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and try to get my little bit better bearing on this and I will come back in a little bit. Okay, so I took about 10 minutes away and I ended up connecting this whole border except for this one piece up here and I'm not finding that piece I really hope they included it if not then I have an incomplete puzzle but I guess I'm just gonna kinda work from here and see if I can uh, maybe it's just diluting me in the box um, I don't know maybe 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 so I've got a bird here and some more. These are the acorns around here. This is going to take me a little while, even though I'm usually very quick at puzzles. Oh, looky, there's the bird's face. There's the birdie's face. Yes, yes, yes. I think you go right there. It's another bird face, and I'm not sure where that bird is in the picture. Ah, he's a little guy. He's down around in here somewhere. Strange. Strange indeed. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, you guys. I had no idea there was a Bible verse in this puzzle. No idea. <clears throat> no idea whatsoever. I just found it. That's cool. Wow. found the missing one. Yay! Now I am fully connected. I 
There we go. That was pretty fast. There's got to be one piece in between there. I think I found the connecting piece right there. Yay! There we go, we're making some progress. There we go. Yay, we're looking good now. Alright, time for some more quizzes. What skill would you like to master? Well, there are so many, I don't know where to begin. I would love to, to um, master the art of Olympic skating, of chefery. I would love to master the art of sewing because that is something I've wanted to do but I've never um, actually been able to uh, get very far with so far in my life I'd really like to do more with that um, I would also like to um, wow I am really, really bad with these quizzes while I'm working on a when I'm while I'm working on a puzzle. Extremely bad. I would like to master the art of multitasking, please. Um, and that's got to be a tail feather of something or other. I think it's over here. And I'd uh, like to master the art of making good YouTube videos and making the videos really nice and professional. That's something I'd like to work on. So far, I'm working with my um, resources that I have. I'm not going to complain because... I have more than I expected I would. When I first started out on YouTube, I thought I was going to do amazing things, and then I had a little bit of a reality check when I realized how limited I was, resources and um, camera setup and lighting setup and everything. I realized I was just a little bit more limited than I had hoped, um, but honestly, I feel like I've kind of gone above and beyond what my original anticipations were in the form of, you know, making the videos and actually getting them up and running. There have been some hiccups, of course, but I'd really like to master doing really professional videos. I would love to uh, master professional singing and recording things like that, doing my audio recordings. I'd really like to do that. So many things I'd love to master. So little time. And it's just one step at a time, I guess. Next question, what website do you visit most often? Probably YouTube. Um, I also visit 123 Stitch quite often because I like to keep track of what they have in stock, the new stuff they get, 
Um, a couple of things I've really wanted are out of stock a lot and often, I find. And so I do check that quite, quite often to see what, what they have and when they have it. eBay and Amazon and Etsy, I visit quite a lot. So I think I'm going to stop for right now and I'm going to come back in a little bit to work on this some more. I need to stretch my legs. So I will finish doing some more questions later on. I'm really, really happy with how far I've gotten on this so far. A good chunk of it is completed and it's turning out really, really cute. So I'll be right back. Back to work on this for just a small bit more. I don't know, maybe only 15 minutes this time just going to put in a little bit more if I can figure out what goes where. I left off on number 16 question. Number 17 is what would your perfect room look like? Oh, good grief. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just going to post a picture because I know kind of what I want my room to look like. Um, even though my current room couldn't possibly look like this. This is what I want my room to look like. Number 18. What movie title best describes your life? Um, wow. I have not the foggiest. Um, hmm. Maybe cloudy with a chance of meatballs? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, that's a really weird one. It's a weird question. Uh, yeah. I'm just, uh, maybe it's complicated? I don't know. That, that's about as good as I can get right now. Next, 19, what age do you want to live to? Um, hmm. Ideally, I would like to live to be 120. So, until I, you know, until I figure out more information on, on what I really want to do with that, I'm going to stick with 120. <laughs> and, uh, I want to be healthy and well, and thriving all the way, all the way through. I don't really like to think about dying, though. I know that it's kind of an inevitable thing, but I feel like if you focus too much on that, you stop living, and so I don't really uh, like to dwell on that thought too much. Number 20, what kind of art do you enjoy most? Um, depending on what you mean by art, because if we're talking paintings or, um, you know, paper art, strokes of a pen, that kind of a thing, I am, uh, more watercolor, but I also like clean and... clear and um, sometimes I like scenery and sometimes I like just people. I don't know. I find most of the time I, I enjoy and think on um, most of the most of the art I enjoy is more contemplative, more thoughtful, more deep in thought. Um, in fact, most of the art I go for generally is a person looking off in, in thought. I That's about as, as good of a description as I can come up with. Um, thoughtful, deep, and contemplative. But a little bit, a little bit dreamy at the same time. What takes up too much of my time? Oh, sheesh. Put me on a guilt trip, why don't you? Um, I would say being unconstructive. I, I like doing things that are productive, creative. 
But a lot of the time I find myself kind of struggling to stay from boredom, which is just strange. Um, I find myself filling the time with basically anything that interests me at the time. It Sometimes it's cross-stitching, sometimes it's reading, sometimes it's playing a video game, sometimes it's just... I don't know. It's just watching pointless YouTube videos. Um, I don't spend enough time studying um, or, or um, journaling, and I need to spend more time with God. I know that. I need to learn. I need to grow. Um, and it's so easy to be distracted in life and um, put that stuff to the side while we do the more entertaining, um, thought-numbing stuff. Um, and I know I've got to work on that, uh, but I, I do probably waste too much time just on, on pointless things that don't really, don't really better my life at all. Number 21, what, what do you wish you knew more about? Actually, that's number 22. I wish I knew more about, um, family members from, from past generations. I really would like to do more ancestry searches. I'm not going to go endlessly and, and go back to like, the Middle Ages or anything like that, but I'd really like to know more about um, family members from, I don't know, four or five generations back, see where I came from. I think that would be really, really interesting. Um, I think an ancestry type study would be really cool. I wish I knew more about uh, faith. I'm still growing on that one. Every day I'm growing on that one. And I wish I knew more about how to um, help myself physically feel better. I need to do some more research on that. Number 23, what's the best way to start the day? Coffee. <laughs> I don't know. You can't tell I like coffee, do you? Um, coffee, I think um, spending some time in communion with God. That's important, and I think, I don't know, I, uh, a good breakfast, I, I like a good breakfast, that helps me start the day good. Um, getting a, a really friendly email, <laughs> that helps, or, or hearing from a friend you haven't heard from in a long time. Um, all of that is, is a great start to a day. What mystery do you wish you knew the answer to? Oh my goodness, there are so many. So many. Um, this one may seem weird, but I wish I knew the true answer to what um, happened to Natalie Wood. Um, that has been a, a, a mind boggler for many, many years. Um, I wish I knew... I'm thinking. There's a lot to think about in that little question. What mystery? Mystery. Let me think about that one a few minutes. I don't know. I guess a lot of mysteries would kind of involve <clears throat> with things I wish I knew would be injustices that happened. I'd like to know why or how how they occurred. I do wish I knew why my knee was hurting so much. That would be a nice little thing to know. And how to make it stop. Because as I'm, as I'm sitting here doing this, my knee is just almost causing my whole body to do these weird... Uh, spasms. It's just hurting. So I think I'm going to have to stop again and give my knee a rest. I'm telling you, it's just been such a challenge this last couple weeks um, figuring out what is going on with it. 
So I think I'm going to uh, slow down for tonight, give my knee a rest, and come back to this a little bit later. And I will continue on with uh, the questions, because I do think they're interesting. Uh, and I hope you will come back and continue watching. Alright guys, I'm back. I took a little break to rest my leg. And now I'm hoping to get a little bit more of this puzzle done. I am uh, surprised that this is taking me this long. I thought it would go quicker. But anyhow... We're just going to work with what we've got. My camera angle keeps shifting. I don't know why. It just keeps... It keeps trailing away from where I have it angled. And I'm a little frustrated with that. But... We'll do the best we can do. Uh, and we're doing it again. My tripod is annoying me so bad right now. I keep looking up every like five minutes and finding it in a totally different location than where I had it originally poised. Um, that's extremely frustrating. So I'm going to do the best I can with it. Number 27, what are some things you've had to unlearn? I'm not sure. Um, I don't feel like I've really had to unlearn anything except I got a new um, phone that I'm having to uh, figure out all the the ups and downs of and that's you know that's a learning curve and it, it, that's kind of frustrating but I don't know if that really is a huge unlearning process it's just it's just a new learning process so that would probably be about it. <clears throat> I'm also back on peanut butter and so I'm having to relearn the whole incorporating peanuts and nuts like that in my diet which again I am not complaining about at all at all at all. Number 28 what's your favorite genre of book or movie? It would probably be and this is going to make me sound sappy. I like romance. Um, and I enjoy mysteries a lot. But the, the genre is generally going to be more in the um, Victorian era for stories and such. And Uh, that's just, that's always been the case. I've always been more drawn to that. And so, I don't think anyone would really be surprised by that statement. I think, I think I've got a pretty transparent group of likings. Uh, and, and most people know about them. And number 28. What's the farthest you've ever been from home? Um, that's pretty easy. We went on a trip one time to Washington DC and so we were traveling through Maryland and um, um, Virginia and places like that I think that's about as far away as I've been I've been to Canada a couple of times but not really the far away Canada um, more like the straight up kind of Canada areas in, um, I'm, I'm having a hard time even remembering the names of them right now, which makes me feel really, uh, a bit, a bit stupid, but Calgary and, uh, places like that, but I have never been out of the country other than Canada, and that's, that's just, uh, I enjoyed it and I had fun. I did like that a lot. But I don't go very often and it's been a while. Next question is, what TV or YouTube channel doesn't exist but really should? Well, if I knew that, I'd have that channel myself, right? Um, because if it really should exist, then I should be on that. Uh, let's see. 
Well, there should be more gluten-free type stuff, uh, but that's a very set audience for that. And there should be, oh my goodness, there's some stuff I would, <laughs> there's some stuff that there really should be that there probably is, I just haven't done the research on. Um, there should be a puzzle channel all day long, every day, right? And my camera is shifting again. I'm quite annoyed right now because of my camera. It's just not staying centered. I think I need a new tripod because it, it, it's just getting wimpier as the days go by, it seems. I really need a stronger one. All right, you know what, guys? My tripod is being such a pain in the nuisance right now. I can't get it to stay still. So I think what I'm going to do is from here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the finished product. I've been through almost to the 30. That was my goal was to go through 30 questions. Um, I'm just going to show you the finished product when I'm done with this because my camera and the tripod is driving me bonkers right now will not sit still for me. So I'm sorry I wanted to do this all the way through and I, I just don't think it's going to work. I hope you had fun watching this puzzle and again I'll show you the final product when I'm done. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing more videos when I can set my camera up better to do more do with me videos. Um, I have further plans for more latch hook rugs and some more diamond painting and um, I even have a felt kit I was going to make up. So hopefully I'll do that soon. I just have to work out my my camera holding settings and all that. And um, But anyway, this puzzle is turning out really, really cute. All right, everybody, here is the finished product. It's been about 28, 29 minutes since I signed off last time. And I made pretty quick work of the final pieces. I think this turned out really, really cute. And again, if uh, you've not seen it, it comes with a full-size poster that you can frame if you so desire. I was really, really happy with the um, little scripture that I found in there. I didn't even know it was there until I started building this thing. And it is, again, um, Springtime Beauty by Kim Norlian. It's actually a super cute puzzle. It was very easy to do once I was off camera and wasn't trying to think up answers to complicated and sometimes tricky questions. But I hope you enjoyed this little puzzle with me video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this cute little picture come together, at least in part. I did have to uh, go off screen for a little while there. But it is super cute. I really enjoy it. The only sad part is I don't really have any place to keep this all made. So I'm going to have to pull it all apart once I'm done and box it up again. And then it will be ready for me to build again at a later date. Hope you enjoyed this little puzzle with me video. And I don't know, I may be doing more in the future. But it was fun. If you liked this little questionnaire, also let me know. And I hope you uh, have a fantastic day. Until I see you guys next time, until the next crafting day arrives and I do more of these with me videos. Hope you have a fantastic day winter and are cozy and warm wherever you live. So until next time, ciao for now.